Hi everybody, I'm Roger Lodge and welcome to Blind Date, where you can enjoy dating's most embarrassing and awkward moments from the comfort of your own living room. Let's get started. Now first up, meet Keon and Greg. Keon is a future fashion designer who says she's obsessed with shopping, which is kind of weird to hear from a woman. Her day, Greg says when it comes to the ladies, looks are most important. Oh, that's deep. Let's hear more. I can't get with the ugly ones. You know what I'm saying? I need them to be attractive. I love clean-cut men. One thing I don't understand about women, okay, they expect you to know what they're feeling. People have told me that I was very high-maintenance. And I love foreplay. Love it. I love foreplay. Um, I love kissing, touching, caressing. I don't like to just go at it. <laughs> oh, it's so nice when they share a hobby. Let's see where these two take us. How you doing? I'm Greg. How are you? Keon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You ready? Emma. Yeah, okay. <laughs> let's do this. All righty, let's go. Looking all lovely with your bass up. Oh, oh, thank you. You look pretty good, too. Are we matching? Well, you know how you get down, <laughs> black folks get down. You know <laughs> I got a lot of guys coming up to you. Um, a lot of attention. Yeah. And you know, not and uh, not being conceited, but I'm just confident. You know how people, especially guys, will say, and they see a female, oh, she looked too pretty, like she got attitude or whatever. But you know, and people say that about me. That's why you know people really don't approach me either. Right. They say that about me too. No, they. A lot of people don't approach me because they think I do have an attitude. So. Um, and I get pretty boy forever, <laughs> forever in a day. It's like, you too pretty, you supposed to be a model or something like that. Two, please. I grabbed the balls. I think we'll leave the popcorn. Thank you. Yeah. Ha! Thank you. Oh my God. I am the greatest! I am the greatest! I am the greatest! <laughs> How did you do that? Wow, what did I do? <laughs> Get the hell out of here. I'm confident. Mm -hmm. I love myself. You know what I'm saying? I walk around with my head high. Mm -hmm. right. And nobody's gonna steal my joy. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because I used to have a complex about myself when I was younger. Right. I mean, I, everything I ate used to go to my thighs. Uh, what was your complex? That I just wasn't, you know, attractive or whatever, you know? I had a complex, too. Kids used to tease me about my lips when I was younger. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> and I'm wrong with your lips. Uh-uh. And I'm like, I got big lips. And I'm wrong with yeah. your lips. Yeah. They ain't, they ain't even big. They full. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But, um, as I got older, I started getting over that. Because then guys looked at me different. They're like, damn, you got some nice lips. Yeah, you know, freaky perverse type. You Thank know. you. Something I was gonna say. What? I don't remember. What size should you wear? Thirteen. That's bad. Not a good size. That's bad. No, it's pretty good. Okay. That's a good size. So I think. Size so should you wear? Ten. <laughs> Ten in women's. Damn, you got you got the big ass feet. But that's 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 it's no. It's my toe. They're so like chunky and long. I can't believe your birthday is so close to mine. Mm -hmm. So what you do for your birthday? Got my boobs done. Gee, that's a gift. <laughs> your boobs was your present to yourself? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I was going to ask you? Yes. Are you a butt man or are you a breast man? <laughs> oh, I'm a get it any way I can man. No, I'm, oh. just, messing, I'm just messing with you. I'm okay. just messing with you. Hmm. Nah, what I, time is it? I, I'm, I'm a breast man. Hmm. Man, I'm a breast man. Well, it's a surprise. But not too big, you know, not mm. too small. It's too much, what they say, uh, more than a handful is a waste. <laughs> Wow. More than a mouthful is a waste. What am I going to do with the rest of this? What am I going to do with the rest of this? I'm funny. Mm -hmm. I'm funny. I laugh at... No, you're and you not. know what? I don't, need, <laughs> no, you're not. I don't need people laughing at me. I laugh at myself. 
Right. All day long, I laugh at my well, own that's jokes. that's good. So what you want to know? Really want to know. <clears throat> oh, what do you think of me so far? I think you are beautiful. Thank you. You got a nice smile. You wearing it out that dress. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know, got the little dimples going, you know. Got the little dimples going, you know. One, I lost the other one. You lost the other one? I don't know where it went. It just, it just fell off? It just gone. Woke up one morning. <laughs> okay, kind of tight. <laughs> Like I said, you wearing that dress. Thank you. Thank you very you got much. Got the bedroom eyes thing going on. Oh, not lazy looking. No, not lazy. Not lazy okay. like you got a lazy like, eye. Like, you know what I'm saying? One eye go that way, one eye go that way. No, not like that. You have nice lips. Thank you. No, you your your teeth are very white. Are they? They are very white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can tell. Everybody says I have a nice smile. Yeah, you do. Yeah, very. do what I can do. We have to do this again and again. Okay. And again. Okay. And again, you know, if you play your cards right. <laughs> Do you um, get a lot of attention when you go out? Yeah. I get, you know... Do shallow. I like get stares. Mm -hmm. But then nobody won't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's how they do it. You gotta go in and hopefully give me a pen or... Mm -hmm. a business card or something. Write yours on number on the back and crayon. You know, something. <laughs> Oh, okay. There we go. You positive? Okay, two minds better than one. Okay. Thank you. Not a. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, not, not too problem. hard. <laughs> not a problem. I had a really good time. All right. Thank you. I look forward to hearing from you. Definitely. A little yeah. week will pass, and I'll okay. hear from you. I will. Come back out here and be sitting out in front of your bushes. <laughs> Stalking <laughs> you, Stalking throwing rocks at your window, see if you're home. <laughs> All, All right. right. All right. I'll see you later. Later. <laughs> They were certainly enjoying a high self-esteem day. At least we know how they feel about themselves. And we'll find out exactly how they feel about each other when we come back. Before the break, Greg and Keon State seemed to be a match made in heaven. She loved his smile and his white teeth. And he really seemed to enjoy her, well, birthday present or presents to herself. Now let's hear from Keon and Greg. And may I remind you folks, his name is Greg. I thought Gary was very attractive, very clean cut. Uh, he put himself together very well. My first impression of Keon when I first saw her was, damn, she had some big breasts. I had a really good time. You know, the date was perfect. I think I, I won her over tonight at dinner because I was, I was me. I was real. You know, I was myself. Just as sexy as I want to be. The only issue I had with Gary was that he was focused more on himself, and he didn't listen to me very much, but we can overcome that. I definitely plan to go out with Keon again. Definitely. If Gary's lucky, maybe he gets to see the present I bought myself for my birthday. And if he's really lucky, she'll learn his name. 